Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Vicious and welcome to a little video segment that I'm going to call Tech Talk. Uh, in regards to the review that I have coming up for the Antline Audio Mod Mic, I have two different microphones from them that I'm going to be reviewing. And this is the kind of information I want to put in that review, but I realized thinking about my review ahead of time that I can spend a lot of time on this one topic and I would like to make it a separate video rather than wasting too much of your time talking about it in that review. And what I'm going to be talking about is something that I have talked about before. It's called signal to noise ratio. And I want to talk about what that means and why it's so important. Okay, so a new analogy that I came up with to explain this to you in layman's really easily is going to be imagine yourself an empty room with the television on one side and then another television on the other side. And you have a microphone that you're putting in the middle of the room. You have two different sounds coming from two different areas and the microphone in the middle of the room is going to pick up both of them equally and one of them is your signal what you want to hear say you're trying to record your favorite TV show and then the other one is what we call the noise which is going to be all the other stuff you don't want to hear being picked up by the microphone and what the signal to noise ratio is is basically the volume or level of what you want to hear versus what you do not want to hear in the world of recording the noise doesn't have to be a television set in the background or the fans up above or your air conditioner there's always noise in a room. That's why people have professional recording studios where they isolate their microphone away from as much noise as possible. But in a normal environment like what we have here, the way that you have as an average user to get the better signal to noise ratio is by these few steps. First, imagine that microphone in the middle of the room. If you move it from the middle and closer towards the TV that you want to hear, that's making it farther away from the noise, closer towards the signal. The reason why we're going and talking about the, the mod mic is this microphone attaches to your headphones and puts it right in front of your mouth versus a microphone that stands on your desk. And that's the same reason why I have my Yeti microphone here on a microphone stand because it moves out and it goes right in front of my face when I'm doing uh, live streams and casting or doing tutorial videos. Getting the microphone closer to you means that it's closer to the signal. That means it doesn't have to be turned up as much on the gain and therefore the signal is much louder than the noise and you get a better signal to noise ratio. The other thing you can do is increase the actual range or volume of the signal aka talking louder. That is not always an option. And a third thing you can do is get a very specific kind of microphone that is not omnidirectional which is a microphone that records sound equally from anywhere in the room. You can get a directional microphone. This microphone here, the Yeti, has multiple recording patterns, cardioid, which I use normally, only picks up from the front of the microphone. So when I have it sitting here over my keyboard, it picks up my voice and not really my keyboard. With it, when the uh, Mod Mic 2.0 and 3.0, the, the 2.0 was an omnidirectional microphone, picked up sound from everywhere in the room, and then now the 3.0 is a directional microphone, only picks up sound from one direction. That doesn't mean that it won't pick up any sound from the other direction, but it means that it really, real, uh, really will isolate that noise a lot better for you and give you a much better signal to noise ratio. So keep that in mind. What you're trying to do is get the best signal and less noise. And that's why having the microphone close to you is important and what they're trying to do with that product, which is why the Zaleman clip-on mic they used to tell everyone to use is a good product, but having a boom right in front of you is gonna be even better. That's also why, you know, just turning up the microphone boost or the microphone gain and stuff like that will not fix a bad microphone or make a microphone far away from you perform as good as even a crappy microphone that's close to you. So that signal to noise ratio is the most important thing when it comes to the quality of recording for most people and why I'm excited about this product and just thought you guys should know that information because when it comes to your current setup that you have at home, you might have a microphone on your desk, you might have um, who knows what, but now you know what steps to take to make yourself get a better recording at home and what equipment to look forward to. So definitely keep your microphones away from a noise by getting them off your desk because vibration noise is very predominant. Get a directional microphone if you can. Always reduce the noise around you if you can, of course. If you're doing voice work or voice acting like I sometimes do, it is not uncommon for people to build their own little home studios. Literally going into their closet and patting their closet with foam and isolating all the noise from the house out. That's how far people will go for professional recordings. But for stuff like Skype, video game commentary, and what we do here, these YouTube videos, 
going that far is not necessary. Just make sure that you start off with a good basis and good equipment, and you should have some really good recordings when you're done. So I hope that video it helps explain a little bit what signal to noise ratio is, how important it is, and when I mention it in the upcoming review, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is Vicious. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.